everybody welcome back again to a wonderful video today so today in this video is going to be very interesting and I'm going to tell you some of the path that you can follow even without CSAR net so today's topic is going to be designing your career without CSAR net examination and how to do that yes so you might have returned CSAR net examination you might be uh, thinking whether do I have to continue uh, preparing for CSAR net examination or if you are in a state that you were not able to write so or your age limit is over then in that situation then what are the alternatives that you can do it for so how to design your career without CSAR net examination is going to be the topic today so come along with me and let's discuss the complete topic in detail this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica so first let's talk about how you can design your career without CSAR net examination the first thing is if you wanted to go in for research search through CSIR laboratories it's really important that you clear CSIR net examination JRF or if you want to become a professor it's always good enough that you go in for CSIR net LS so if suppose you're not having that CSIR net examination how you can design your career the first I'm going to talk about is get certified so how you can get certified I'm going to talk about so first thing is wherever you go for any kind of job it's always important that you are a certified a researcher, a certified food technologist, certified regulatory affairs officer, everything has to be certified. So that is approved the entire globe. So always get certified. It might be any of these things like certification uh, in programming languages or molecular docking or molecular technique or stem cell research, whatever it is, always get a certification. We have a video on how to avail certification program, internship program, everything in detail. You can watch out that video completely and we at Biotechnica also offers a lot of certification programs so exclusively for all the freshers so you can watch out that also so without CSIR net examination the first thing is you need to be a certified person you need to learn certain things so learn programming languages or if you are in the uh, preparation period uh, you have not cleared examination but you are still now preparing but you want to equip yourself in that case also you get a certification in any of these things and there are many many more certifications also going on and the next thing is join as an intern because uh, we always feel this thing like after clearing CSIR net examination after you're entering as a JRF uh, one problem most of the JRF faces is not knowing technical stuff they do not know how to do a research how to review a paper how to read the paper faster and how to do a technical analysis and how to actually make a project everything you need to know out of practice you cannot go and learn it in a book everything Thing. so it comes out of practice so you can experience that only if you go in for internship opportunity so whether you have CSAR or without a CSAR if you're going to have an internship it's going to design your career so join as an intern uh, either as a paid internships or you can pay for some of the organization and get the internship from them like very specifically always try to go in for hands-on training when it comes to some uh, technical things that you want to learn in for virtual internships are very very good if you go in for bioinformatics internship molecular docking molecular modeling and these are or if you want to get hold of the theoretical knowledge then definitely going for virtual internship also so being an intern is definitely going to add on to your resume or it just gleam onto your resume so internship can be a factor which can design your career even without your CSIR net examination so there are people who have not clear CSIR net examination but has an experience got an opportunity in research laboratories also in India as a JRF through the project fundings or through the projects that they have returned or from the institutional fundings or they have went in abroad uh, without qualifying this examination but with experience so we cannot say two things shouldn't be there at all if you're going to have CSIR JRF then you can definitely go and work in a laboratory where you gain an experience so or else you need to have an experience in doing a research which will be an added value for you if you're not going to have both the things then definitely it's going to work out so joining as an intern and learning techniques is definitely going to be a great help for all of you the next one join short-term diploma courses yes 
So if somebody wanted to go for medical technology or biomedical sciences, I would definitely uh, ask to join some short term diploma courses because uh, this period of time, I would say like when you're going to prepare for examination, if you have not qualified and you're still in the process of preparation or your age limit has gone and so that you cannot apply for CSA or net JRF, then what you can do is you go in for some diploma courses where you can gain an experience and then start off your career. So join some diploma courses, some of the diploma courses like you can go in for scientific writing, clinical research diploma courses, medical research diploma courses and there are many many diploma courses which can actually design your career even without your CSIR net examination. The next one suppose if somebody wanted to go in for research opportunity or if somebody apart from research if anybody wanted to go in for teaching or academia then I would suggest gaining a teaching experience. So you might think I have I have not qualified CSA or net JRF but I've qualified LS then you can uh, get avail an opportunity to become an assistant professor or a lecturer in a college. If you have not cleared any examination or if you have not returned CSA or net examination what you can do is you can gain an experience by teaching in schools, colleges, universities, everywhere. So if you want to go in for teaching or academia or if you are someone who is targeting for lecturership or professor, then you join any of the organizations, not necessarily has to be a college or university. You can join any organization where you can actually teach for people because if you're going to teach, you're going to learn. So gaining teaching experience is definitely going to shape your career because what exactly happens is we find people after not qualifying examination feel frustrated and they do not know what do I have to do next. So if you're going to do certain things, there won't be any gap in your CV also and you gain experience and then you can start writing your examination or you can continue in the same phase that I'm telling you for all of you. The next one is going to be write research articles and review articles. This I would suggest for everybody because when you're going to uh, write some research articles or review articles, definitely it's going to help you in your research. Suppose if you're someone who would like to go in for research, but this time you have not qualified CSA or net JRF. What you can do is during the period of time, you're going to learn, you have already learned CSA uh, preparations and you have learned all the uh, units, everything. Now you can read some research papers some almost 35 to 40 minutes every day. So when you start reading research papers, you'll get to analyze the real life science that's happening in the entire world. Through that, you can read a topic and you can make a review article and publish it in the research papers. So write a research article or review article and then publish that paper in a peer reviewed journal. So we have come up with a video on what are the important journals so you can watch it out also. So write research Research articles and review article is definitely going to help you if you wanted to go in for any kind of research purposes. If you want to go in for research, then this is going to be a great help for all of you. The next important thing is join as a research associate or research assistant in R&D labs. Yes. So one thing I'm going to suggest if you have not um, had the CSIR net exam, how can you shape your career? One thing what you can do is you can go to a companies and work in a R&D department, research and development department, usually MSc with uh, some six months of experience or one year of experience, you can definitely go in for research assistance. Or if you wanted to be promoted, if you have some two years of experience, then you can go in for research associate. So join as a research associate or research assistant in any of the R&D laboratories. So you can go in for uh, any kind of government uh, research laboratories or private companies which has R&D department but you, sh you need to take it as a temporary things because if you want to if your long term goal is going to be gaining a PhD degree then this is like for a temporary purpose in order to prevent the gap in your CV. So you can do that or if you are someone who is who wanted to clear CSA or net examination this also is definitely going to help you and it's definitely going to be an experience for you and no gap in your CV it will not create any gap because there is a continuity in your CV there is no gap that you have been preparing so this sort of problems will not be occurring the next one is look for jobs in the company suppose you you cannot write the examination further if you are in that situation always look for a job in the companies I'm going to list out some of the important companies like Zydus, Bharat Biotech, Serum Institute, Panay Limited, Biocon, Dr. Reddy's lab and we have videos on what are the biotech companies, biopharma companies which are very demanding in 2022 also you can watch out the video and always try to look for jobs in the job site so if it's biosciences I would definitely suggest biotechnica or you can go and search in for Nokri and there are many many sites uh, where very specifically you can go and search for jobs in LinkedIn 
so surf surf in the job sites wherever biology related jobs are available then you can go for it and always have a track of looking for the job profile that you wanted so just give a subscription to it or notification to it so that you will be notified uh, whichever jobs that you want to go for there is a job alert positions or uh, tabulation that you can see it in the linkedin so which will tell you uh, that you are looking for this kind of profile it will alerts you so you can do that uh, in such cases also and the next one is learn to program yes so when you are in this phase i would always suggest programming is definitely going to be a great advantage because just imagine if you're not able to go to a laboratory and perform research during covid times bioinformatics were very very uh, popular and they did many many things because it's a uh, a dry lab technique it's not going to you're going to go into a lab and take uh, equipments and work on it so programming can be uh, made very easy and this would be very helpful even you can perform it at home so learn to program because if we combine or merge biosciences is with it definitely a wonderful field you can learn bio python r programming perl javascript and bioinformatics tools molecular docking molecular modeling during this period of time you can learn programming and bioinformatics tools which will be a great help for all of you this is definitely going to design your career even if you do not have your csai net exam also the next is public speaking yes so whether you go in for a company or whether you go in for a research lab or whether you go in for academia public speaking is very very important during this period of time you can concentrate a lot on public speaking because you need to be expressive and you need to be convincing and this will help you to defend your thesis also if you're going to have a public speaking ability it will help you to defend your thesis and present a paper in the conferences and attend conferences also this is definitely going to help you the next one yes without csir net you you are not able to write but if you're going to ask me no i need my my own fellowship uh, self funded fellowship then in that case you can apply for other examinations because csir uh, syllabus is kind of correlated with most of the examinations if you see because you have already prepared or if you have not prepared you can apply for other examinations also or your age limit is gone then you can go in for gate excel life sciences or bio biotechnology dbt jrf bet exam icmr exam ars net exam agriculture science and state level examinations yes set examinations very specifically qet examinations iit jam examinations and there are many many personal institutional examinations which will be conducted where you can go and write that also even without csir you can really get a fellowship so this is also going to be possible the next one gets hands on experience yes this is really important as i already mentioned internship is important and hands on experience is important so we have a video on how to get a government hands on experience internship positions in some of the laboratories like nccs nis ncbs jncsr and cftri and there are many many institutes which will be keep on notifying people for hands on experience so attend hands on experience for one month or 15 days or 10 days whenever you have a top opportunity you can definitely take it up the next one join as a jrf now the question comes for us is you had not qualified csir net jrf or you do not have csir net then how can i join a jrf the other thing is you can write any of the other examinations like dbt gate or dst inspire fellow if you're going to be or icmr or ars net or any examinations if you have qualified or icmr examinations then definitely you can join as a jrf suppose if you have not written any of the examination the only way is approaching a professor who has funding and if you qualify the examination you can just go and work under the professor or the scientist with the stipendship given by the professor or the scientist this can also work as a jrf it's not only for jrf you can also join project assistant research assistant positions in research laboratory and you can you will have an uh, experience of uh, gaining some good experience working with a scientist so if you have not qualified but you are still in the preparation period then definitely you can do this also or if you do not have you can go and get to know the research organization during this period of time what you have to do is you need to know what are the research organization which offers project positions without csir net examinations or without this examination everything you need to know and sometimes what happen is if you're going to get a um, institutional funding or if you're going to get a professional funding or the professor who are going to give you funding you can convert the jrf into phd that is also going to be possible so this is a uh, another way 
of designing your career without csa or net examination the next one look for government opportunities there are many many government opportunities that we have made a lot of video what are the government jobs that are available in biotech sectors food sciences and dr devos we have done so so many uh, videos we have done those are like entry level examinations if you're going to write entry level examinations and if you qualify you will be placed under any kind of government jobs it's not only going to be research positions there is technical positions also available so you can always look for government jobs and the next one is personal branding and networking important most important thing of all the thing is during this period of time you need to be having this personal branding and networking with people it becomes very easier with linkedin yes so update your certification that you have done your internship or your awards or whatever you participate in the forums include everything in your linkedin profile and this is the main thing because if you're looking for a job the employers are going to gain a good insight about what you know everything in detail so always make a personal branding and then networking now the question come for us is can i design the career without csir net exam yes so is it possible if you're going to ask me i'm going to tell you yes it is possible to design your career even without csir net examination and even without csir net examination we have found people going abroad and doing research and becoming a post doctoral fellows and then returning back to india and working as a indian scientist also so that is possible but the thing is you need to have a subject knowledge along with the technical knowledge experiences and then this is definitely going to help your career also so today in this video i was talking about how you can actually design your career without the csir net examination so i believe that this video is helpful for you so please put uh, your answers in the comment section like what do you think without csir net examination can be thank you all of you for your time